Abigail Bitch Craze and I have another beauty product review for you today. It's been a while since I've done some straight up makeup reviews so I wanted to get one of those out to you. Today's product is by Physicians Formula which is a drugstore brand um, that is completely natural and vegan. So um, a little bit more expensive than some of the other drugstore brands than you know Revlon or Maybelline or something like that but still you can get it at most drugstores you know or big box stores as well. Um, pretty cheap so usually a good choice I have pretty mixed reviews on their products overall some of them I really like some of them I really don't like and everything in between so um, it's really good to you know look up reviews like this before you buy those things because some of them are you know around ten dollars you want to just make sure before you buy so um, today's product looks like this it's a little eyeshadow palette Hopefully that's focusing okay for you there. Um, adorable packaging. You can see on the front and the back it has this lace, black lace, over top of a, like a pink um, plastic material. So super cute, especially with the bow right here. This is the nude color. They have several of these. Um, the others, the packaging isn't quite as cute. So of course that drew me to it, but I also really love nude palettes because I think um, they're very wearable and very versatile. So um, I was pretty excited about it, but... Um, really disappointed unfortunately so the packaging is really the only thing I like about it it does have a magnetic um, clasp there so that's pretty nice when you open it up this is what it looks like inside you can see that it comes with a small applicator I'll show you what it looks like this is what it looks like so it has um, an angled tip you can see that I have tried to use that um, but it's just a sponge tip, so not super useful. Um, the color range looks pretty good. You are getting a lot more light shades than dark shades, so depending on what kind of a look you're going for, that may be good or bad for you. Um, I don't do a whole lot of smoky looks just because I don't go out and party all that often, so um, that didn't bother me that there weren't a lot of dark ones. But the light ones, you can see, look like there's some variation here, but actually they look so similar. Um, here, I'll swatch a couple of them for you of the three lightest ones does that look identical or what and on my hand you can barely see it at all and I really swatched it hard so I could give you a good swatch there so um, that's my main complaint is uh, is that they the light colors are all very similar the mid-tones actually many of them are similar if you can see um, in here as well some of them come out very similar but the biggest complaint is that it's just not very pigmented also really hard to pick up the color it's not powdery enough which is a weird complaint usually with eyeshadow you're complaining that it's too powdery but this it just it is so hard to get pick up any color with your fingers with this sponge tip that it comes with with a traditional eyeshadow brush I've had no luck um, and after a while it really gets kind of matted down I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it kind of gets matted down a little bit and harder and harder to pick up as time goes by. Um, you have to kind of like rough it up a little bit to try to pick up some of that powder. So um, super annoying. And then the pigment just does not come off very easily. So you're putting it on your eye more and more and more trying to really build up some color and you're just not seeing a lot there. And then it gets worse. It doesn't even last. If you use one of the darker colors, you know, over here and you're able to build up a little bit of color on your eye, you know, within a few hours, it just is gone. It has no, no staying power whatsoever. So major bummer on this one. Beautiful, looks cute. Um, lots of shimmer, that's the other thing. These are all shimmer shades, not a single matte one in the pack. So if you're wanting something that you can wear you know, during the day or um, to a conservative office environment, maybe not good for you anyway because it is all shimmer. So total bummer all around. I would definitely say do not spend your money on this. It was a little bit pricey, I think maybe around $12. So, um, you know, for a drugstore product, I think that that's a little bit high anyway. If it was fantastic, I would spend the money on it and it's super cute, but just does not live up to that, um, unfortunately. So bad news on that one. I have not tried the other colors. I assume that they function fairly similarly, so I didn't want to spend my money on that. But if you've tried it, you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear if those ones are any better, if it's worth trying them out. So uh, anyway, bad review on that one, but uh, uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, I do a lot of reviews of beauty and food and lifestyle, all vegan and all natural. Uh, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos, and I will see you in the next one. Aloha!